about a week ago, I was messing around with this board, trying to flash some uh, older uh, uh, older bias images onto it. The There was a feature that this is supposed to have um, to unlock certain AMD chips. Not really for that, but you know what I mean. Um, but uh, it's not showing up in the setup, so I thought maybe they discontinued it or got rid of it or, or it hid the option in you know newer updates. So I was trying to put some older ones on just to see. And it was working fine, and then one didn't go well, and now the board is bricked. It does not does not function. So luckily, they socketed the uh, bias flash chip here. I don't have one of the devices where you can put the firmware on it, drop the chip in, and it'll just flash. I don't have one of them, but what I do have are some Raspberry Pis and you can use Raspberry Pi to flash these chips. Usually I, when I do this, I use uh, the Zero, but uh, this one's been acting up funny lately, so I kind of switched the SD card over to this one. We're gonna use this, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, one thing I noticed though, because I already did my homework, I, I looked up what the chip was and with the pinout and everything, I noticed that it's very, very loose in this socket, and it's not supposed to be. So I have to either replace or fix this socket, I'll get to that, but first I need to make sure that I have a good uh, a good CMOS image on here, or bias image. So let's do that and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna use Raspberry Pi, and there's a program that was developed, it's called uh, Flash ROM. This is from the uh, data sheet of this, of this IC, and there's the pinouts, and this is from the website, the Flash ROM website, and these are the, uh, the header pins that you need to connect to these. And obviously this is just the generic Raspberry Pi. Oh, and I'm wearing gloves because I injured my hand and I figured it's probably not a good thing to have zoomed in on a camera. I'm sure you're not going to want to look at that. So let's get this hooked up. Um, and these things are not good gloves. These things suck, but it is what it is. Oh, and in case you've never uh, dealt with this kind of thing and you want to, uh, this is, see a little notch there? That's that denotes pin one. So it would be pin one, two, three, four. And then the next one here is five, six, seven, eight. So when you see that, and you can have, obviously you can see it here, the way it goes. I want to connect hold WP to power. So hold is right next to VCC. I'll just use this one here. And we'll just put that there. So now they're, they're connected. And then, um, let's see, what was the other one? WP is pin three. And that also goes over to there. So that's connected. So now we want to connect the Raspberry Pi. And the bottom one here is ground. So obviously we connect ground to ground, which uh, is pin four. I'm sorry, not on camera. Um, 24, which is right above ground, is CS. Or actually, 24 is the one that's over here. It's the green wire that I have here. CS, and where is CS? Uh, the first one. Yeah, we'll put this back here just so that we have a little room to play with. Okay. And what's next? This is SCK, which really, st it's the clock signal. Um, and so be six, pin six, and this is gonna be, where is it? Blue, the blue wood. This is, this is, this is what gets complicated. Uh, 23, so yeah, 23 is right up next to ground, which is that, and that's going to pin six. So I'll plug that into pin six. All right, 21, which is the next one up is, D0, I believe that's data out. If I'm wrong, be sure to correct me, because I'm sure somebody will. And data out is number two. Plug that in there. And then yellow is the next one, which is DI, data in. And data in is DIO, which is five. It's right there. And then we need power. This last one here is just the BCC, and that's power. We'll plug that in there. So it's actually, you know, it's it, it isn't very complicated at all. It looks more complicated than it actually is. So first thing, so well not first thing, but let's get this powered up. Yes, I know this is Windows 7. It's running on a virtual machine. Um, I just use it for running old, old software and, and different utilities. 
um, on my workbench. But um, if we see, this is flash ROM and it does support Raspberry Pi. It also supports other things. You can you know use parallel, uh, different interfaces. Um, sometimes you have to use resistors depending on what the voltage of those interfaces is, but they talk about that in here if you're interested. They also have a hardware support page and it shows you all the chips that have been tested and any issues with them. The chip I'm using is, I believe, untested, if I remember correctly, but I've had good luck in the past, so we're going to go with it. So uh, let's see. Let's load up this, and it's just P0. And I'm going to load up Pi. And flash ROM. And there's everything there. Now i got to load up uh, WinSCP, and we're going to connect... Just to copy, I want to copy that ROM over to it. I'm going to log in as root, just because of permissions. I could change that directory, but whatever. It's just, this is only turned on when I need it. Uh, what is it? Home, Pi, Flash ROM, and then I have a folder here called BIOS. And what I'll do is 2102. Renaming it doesn't do anything. It just makes it easier to type. So... What I'll do, let's put that in, and it says that it found WinBond flash chip W25X80 on Linux SPI. So it found it. So now we have to write. So we'll do dash W um, bias 2102.rom. I don't know. Let's capitalize that. And it's going to read it. Don't know why. And I'm not a pro at this. I've used this all the time. But uh, there's other people that would know much more about this than I do. And it flashed it and said verified. Cool. So, now, we come back here, and I'm just going to unplug this. I know it's not the proper thing to do, but whatever, life goes on. I'll we'll do this, and this chip I will put back in the board, and we'll test it. Okay, so we got power supply, I got, I'm going to plug this in, plug this in. Back here somewhere. Let's see. I'm not going to use the GPU right now. We'll just use the onboard one. Um, I only have one stick of RAM in there. This is just just to see if this thing even powers up. So I got RAM in there. I got the the ICs back in its socket. That's hooked up. I got power to the power supply. Well, here we go. Let's see. I did this before, but nothing else would happen. Yep, there we go. And it's up. And it's fan error. That's normal, this thing screwed up. And it's looking for an operating system. So, back in business. Short video, um, just wanted to, to show you that, you know, if you do fry one of these things, or you know you have a bad, uh, bad flash, it's not the end of the world. You could do it, I mean, even a parallel port. I believe this software even supports a parallel port. Uh, not sure about the voltages. Like I said before, you may need to use some resistors to knock that down a bit. Um, but regardless, it is doable with just stuff that you have laying around because almost everybody has one of these. Any any geek out there has one of these. Um, again, quick video just showing you that it's possible, and um, I'm glad that I got this board back. So now I can now I can use it again, and I don't think I'll be messing around with the bias too much unless I get a spare chip. Maybe I'll swap them back and forth if I if I uh, if I need to. But I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.